This is the strongest building material in Rust, and this is the weakest, twig. But could a fully twig base survive 24 hours on a vanilla Rust server? To answer this question, I teamed up with Jay Tellez to see if we could give this a crack. It's safe to say we definitely ran into a fair few problems. We are fighting the clock because Scotty might get banned any minute. We gotta go, 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 go. go. I'm about to get banned. The admin is in my DMs. And you guys want to see why Scotty's gonna get banned? Wait, well, well, that's why he's getting banned. Although, to get this all started, I had to meet up with Jay Tellez, participate in some highly productive and effective okay, scrap generation at Outpost. Oh, it's Scotty. And then find some transport to the north side of the map where we wanted to build. How do you get on the boat? You mean the fing train? I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Let's go. Your semantics, bro. Turn the lights off. It saves fuel. Does it? What was that? I don't think that's, no. I don't think that's a big. Oh. What the f oh, is this shit. Oh. Wait, hold on. I'll get rid of it. I mean, we gotta go the other way anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll pay for your $100, please. With these two monkeys now successfully on the train, it was time to find our build spot. On the way, we spotted Power Plant, a great opportunity for loot and maybe even some sexual Chernobyl roleplay. Although, we weren't alone. It was a mini. Wait. Uh, above Power Plant. You can see it? Yeah. Oh, if Jack was stuck on a pump, would you help pump Jack? Guys, write down in the comments if you hate this Scotty guy. Guy here, guy here. Coming in. Yeah, two guys, two guys, two guys. I see one Wolf Heady, I think. Yeah. Okay, run. Just run. Just run. Okay, running. I'm going. Okay, I got the diesel. I'm bugging out that side, bro. I'm heading west. You're about to get shot at. I'm looking at the guy looking at you. Wait, what does he have? I don't know. I think he looked like they had SAR. Oh, shit. They're pretty far behind us. We should be around. Having luckily escaped, we could finally focus on getting a base done and embracing true Logan Paul fashion wears better than a densely packed forest. Okay, I think we keep this spot, but for now, this will be our base right here in this bush. This is like a real homeless encampment. Jesus. Dude, we do live in like a little homeless camp. Building a fully twig base and leaving it naked would be extremely risky. So we devised a plan to cover our ass. At the price of 25 cloth, we could craft a rug that would hopefully obscure the out side twig facade. Only problem is, we have no cloth. However, one recycle run at launch site later and we were set for both cloth and scrap. Time for Jaytelez and I to go and slap our twigs together in the bush. Alright, let's roll. I got 469 scrap and 600 cloth. Wait, 600 cloth? Okay, well we should be able to disguise our base now. Is it gonna work? I'm not actually sure. Honestly, I have no idea how long we'll survive. Comment below how long you think we will survive in the base. These rugs that you've crafted. That one's pretty good. I think we'll do that one. Oh, I quite like that one. Yeah, that one's good. Why are you putting them inside? I don't know, I'm making our house nice. I thought you'd be more worried about the outside instead of making the inside of our house look like a public urinal. Bro, this is gonna look good. Look I mean, it looks good, but like, what is this? Just hold on, just hold on. Okay, okay, you're the interior designer. Let me fucking cook. And also, us rugging the inside, if someone sees us go in from a distance, they won't see that it's a fully twig. True, they'll think it's made of drywall. It Honestly, like if you back up to here. Oh yeah, yeah, you can't even tell. It does look so stupid to the point where someone would probably come take a closer look though. Just like, what's thing. going on here? Having erected our Ted Kaczynski log cabin in the woods, we'd noticed a crate had gone down at Power Plant, and with everything all covered up with rugs, there was no better time to go and check it out. Like any fight we take now is so dangerous. No, exactly. It's not like getting door camped is gonna be an annoyance. It's an end of wipe occurrence. It's down. It's down. Oh, it's gone. It Guy's logged out. He got fly hack. No way. You're taking the piss. I have a P2. Okay, nice. He doesn't have the crate loot. He had blue card. I thought that was the, the guy on crate that got fly hacks. He was only a P2. It must have been a crazy crate to where his teammate would just leave him. That went down moments, like literally just as we got there. Oh, you know what's just come on the map? Argo. Yeah. Top right, you know. Not only was this cargo spawn in the perfect location, the new traveling vendor had also appeared right beside our base. So while I turned our twig crack shack into a full-scale munitions factory, JT went to scan out the deals from the dodgy ice cream van. Okay, so he's selling a custom and an HLMG for 195 scrap? What oh, the what? 
Jesus. Wait, he's selling five SMG bodies for fucking 100 scrap. Dude, this is busted. Bro, that's insane. I'm about to splurge. Bring some more scrap. What have you bought so far? I bought five SMG bodies and HLMG. Oh, guy, guy, guy. Ooh. There's a guy here. Okay. Can I shoot him or is it like a safe zone? No, if you go hostile, bro, those turrets on top will mong you. Let me take some shots at him, yeah? I'm gonna merc him. Got him. Nice. Uh, okay, I, I'm hostile for 50 seconds. Wait for so. your hostile. Just run over and just buy. I'm gonna go buy. Okay, uh, I'll buy the HMLMG. Dude, I didn't know it was that nuts. What it's the nutty, bro. It is nutty. All right, and I'll get... Oh, you know what? That's probably good. Let the many more would be overspending. We needed tier two, though, so don't spend too much. Yeah, I spent... I spent... We got 310 left. I got... And that's all our scrap. Yeah, I got some frags and an HMLMG, so I guess we could just go to cargo now. All right, let's go. All right, look alive, motherfucker. All right, we are going to get there just as it goes in, which is good. I need you to get up there quick, fella, all right? All right, you got it. I'm not seeing scientists. No, I'm not seeing scientists either, man. Yeah, there's a mini up top, mini up top. Oh, shit. I'm up. Killed one. Nice. Other oh, one, Captain, spare top. I'm, I'm, uh, oh, I'm dead. I'm downed. Oh my god. This backpack is so loaded, I might run. Okay, I got 35 seconds. I got C4 rocket. Holy shit. Yeah, maybe worth it, bro. Give me a second. How good is he? Um, all right. Oh, he's, he's on me now. He's right above you. Another C4, a rocket C4. Dumb. Jump. Is he, he's taking off with the mini. Yeah, he's going, he's gone, he's gone. He's full gone. He's not landing anytime soon, bro, he's gone. He's going to pick up his boy, they're gonna come back. All right, oh, I'm gonna get on and get kitted, yeah? There is one more crate. I kinda would, uh, maybe we stay for it. I could, I could if you want it. me to stay, I could, I'm done to stay. No, we, we stay for it, we see them coming in. We, you can hold the crate with MP5, I'll hold up top captains with LMG, I should be fine. I got two, I got two C4, one rocket, and a bunch of- Wait, cattle. is that mini here? Yeah, 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 at the front. Okay, I'm, I'm underneath running to the front. Headshot one, dead, probably. He's behind me, I think. Nope, he's shooting me. You'll be able to sneak up on this kid right now. And once, he fucking moved. Where'd he go? Unders. He's dead, nice. Hey. Uh, nice. And your HLMG came right back. I killed him right off. His name is Good. But they landed the mini, right? Yeah, we got a mini. Good plays, bro. Like we could have left, but that's that's pussy boy shit. No, you're right. You. Oh, nice mini. No. Where is it? Wait, what? We didn't want that thing. Wait, there's another one. No, that was me. Wait, so I'm so, just not. <laughs> I'm just not cash money at buying mini. The one mini we. I thought you got rid of that one because we had a second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I just yeah. Here, that, that's what I. Was okay. Thinking. All right. We didn't. We didn't have a place for the mini, anyways. Yeah, yeah. We would have just brought attention to the toy base, to be honest, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. I didn't. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Four, three, two, one. Come big on. money, big money, big money. Hey, Ooh. Not too bad. Not bad at all. All right. Surely another C4. I'm being insane. Oh, oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't even really want. I want more guns, but fuck you. I want an. I want an AK. I can't lie to you. But whatever. Fuck it. Three C4, one rocket. Now this was some insane luck, and it jumps out of straight into the world of raiding. But things started to go a little bit weird. I just want to try to drive the boat home. All right, let's drive the boat. Oh, you took the fuel out of it. No, I didn't. There's no fuel in it. <laughs> it took the fuel. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> no shit. Dude, odds are we don't even have a base right now. Wait. What? Look at the map. I don't have a bag. I don't have a bag. We don't have a base. We don't have. Oh shit. I forgot about that. No. That's, um. Like, yes, we are more stacked than anything we ever had in that base, but, like, the timer was very, very short. <laughs> It got found no. very quick. Already? Uh, we don't know for sure. We gotta, we gotta get a look at the base. We can, yeah, and we gotta take a look at the map. You know, look in the recording, see exactly when those bags disappeared. Oh, there's a guy here, guy here, guy here. He's just coming in. I'm gonna try to spray him down. Headshot him. He's dead. Hat man. What is he? He was just full PVP kit, like meds, walls. Oh, AK, AK. 
Oh, okay, sweet. You can see our home. Maybe we've not been full griefed. It looks like they upgraded it and made some of it not twig. That's against the rules. That's fucking against the rules, bro. What the hell? Where's our home? Let's see what they've done to it. Right here. Oh, he's farming. He took our base over. Bro. What the fuck did you do? What did you do? <laughs> this goddamn bastard. It is. <laughs> He just respawned. Oh shit! Did you just throw one on the ground? Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> Come on! What the hell did you do, <laughs> dude? I put my hand right on my mouse <laughs> and it threw it, dude. I... Oh! Shit. Did you did you forget that we left guns in there? Where's the brother? I didn't know he spawned in. I didn't hear it. I can't believe he fucking stole our house, the goddamn bastard. We actually just got squatted on. <laughs> Thankfully, we didn't end up losing much of our good loot, but getting squatted on worse than in the slums of San Francisco had taught us a valuable lesson. So we devised a plan to use wooden compound walls as an extra layer of protection, because the rugs, just like American President Joe Biden, were not working without extra help. Yeah, so here's what we're looking at, right? We got this gate. Yes. This isn't as tight as I would have liked it to be, but we'll still put shotgun traps here. It'll scare the shit out of anybody. Yeah. And then we got airlock here. Oh, yeah, that's quite nice. We got a beautiful home. Beautiful home. It looks like a public toilet. Well, okay. Well, chill out. No, but you've been in nice public toilets before, right? No, this is no, it does not look like a nice one. Yeah, it does. Like, the, you know, the tile's a bit cracked, but when you sit down, the seat's still warm and you can really enjoy yourself. Unlike the Secret Service, JT and I actually cared about keeping a secure perimeter, so we added some turrets to look over the compound. With all this security, the main test now was to see if we could do what John Lennon couldn't and survive one night in our small twig apartment. But there was one more problem. On our way back from cargo, we'd spotted an active base at the Sulphur Quarry. Not only was he contesting the fastest way to get sulphur, but any any active base in the area posed a huge risk to our little secret. They had to be removed. So whilst I cleared out all the diesel from power plant, Jay Teles went to take a snoop around, but ended up disturbing a rather familiar face. Good, they're online. They're online? Indeed. Killed them? Good. Who's good? Who's good? Where do we see that guy? Oh, that, um, that, that, that was... Cargo? Cargo? They're yeah. here. You might want to come over to me. They they heard the shots from me. These guys are allied. They were waving at me. Oh, yeah. I see their base. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's them. Based off of how fast he came back. Oh, one coming back. Dead. Good. Yeah. Came with a SAR. Yeah. And that was from the base, the 2x2? Two two? That was from the base. He came from the 2x2, two two, yeah. These guys are allies, 100%. The guys that live at the end and the, the, that 2x2. Two two. All right. <laughs> it's funny because they came, they came back to cargo naked too. The discovery of our prime target's allies was not good news, but if we were to have any chance of surviving the night, this guy had to go. Thankfully, after embracing my inner scouser and jumping over the walls, we noticed it was a pretty cheap raid, especially considering the potential loot inside. With this base being right beside Sulphur Quarry, Power Plant, and the large oil rig, the profit could be insane. The plan now revolved around us running the quarry and getting this raid done ASAP. Or at least that was the plan until JT got killed whilst AFK. Yo, I'll go on. J Tim Tom Timmy. Scotty, I got rocked to death. Yeah, you got. Was it Tim Tom Timmy? Yeah. Yeah, I literally just. Running, I was running over there naked to see if he could get Diesel, and he shot me as well. Now this Timmy guy was a lot like my father. I'd never seen him before. Also, like my dad, we thought he could be living in a cave nearby, as it was active, but we didn't have a name for the person inside. Ultimately, we thought nothing of it, and went to check on an airdrop that was called in. I see him. On the base, right? Yeah, that's him. He's looking right at me. Oh. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, yeah. uh, he was indeed looking right at me. That thing's in, bro. It's in his, it's in his compound? Uh, nope. Outside. I'm gonna have to kill him here. He's not dead. He's full, really low. Three shots. Oh my god, it's... He's, uh, one's coming out the airlock. Gatehouse. One's on roof still. He looted it through the airlock. Damn, it landed that close? Yeah. Nice. Killed him. Alright. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's from the guy in the peak. Odo ban. I got a bag right beside it. One's coming towards you. One's pushing you on foot. On foot. Sweet. 
That was me. Didn't hit him. Is he out? Yeah, he's pushing he you out? on ground. On, oh, he's pushing you. Dead. Nice. HLMG MP5, very nice. Oh, you got a nice kick going on. Holy. Yes. Better than the airdrop. Yeah, I'm ready. I want to kill everybody. I want to kill everyone in our area. Who doesn't? Our area is definitely getting hot, though. It's only a matter of time before yeah. someone finds our little twig shed. It is only a matter of time. It takes if a... these guys follow us, we got to pay attention. We cannot let them follow us home. True. Good call. Did you kill the guy? Sorry. It's, t it's Timmy. It's Timmy. It's Timmy. Okay. Yeah, so then he's the cave guy. Watch his up top base. You might be able to just yoink another kit. Because if he comes out with a kit, it might be worth it to just hit that thing. I think he just respawned naked on top. Now there's a different guy called Twilk. It could be his duo. He's in his base, shop base, talking. Who's he talking to? Aside from my duo and Redneck, there wasn't anyone else that I know. I hear him as well. Have you had any other accounts, or is that just the one? We'll listen to it for a second. Uh, uh, no, after I got banned, uh, one of my IRL friends got me this account. Oh, he's cheating. Yeah. That's the admin. So would, would he is a cheating bastard! Game? He has um, cheating all. Anyone who you've ever pretty much talked to or touched, like, on the, on your internet, whatever. Bro, they're below us, by the way. You know, we could go there, the K-Face might get deleted. His name's Jake. The admin's called oh, Jake. Jake, you're so handsome. You ESPing up there too? No, you, bro. <laughs> no, I swear, I'm bro. Remember, we uh, had to screen share you our recordings because you banned said us. Knows your name. Now the actor thinks we're cheating. Uh, okay. Wish you luck in the future. He asked if he can give the base away. The admin said no, it's cheater loot. So I think he's just gonna delete it, like delete the loot too. So, Mr. Admin, what happens to his loot? It just stays in the hole. Yeah, but they, they just we don't touch it. Okay, fair enough. What happened? You know, to give him a chance to appeal or something. They don't touch it. Uh -huh, just kidding. This guy is not appealing. <laughs> no, thanks for keeping the server clean, man. You guys should probably oh, hello, go back to your base so I don't, you know, get you guys killed on accident. Uh, you know what? Oh, no, I'm, no we're good. Like... Don't worry. Hey, you want to walk with us back to our base? Wait, Jake, I want you to see our Oh, home. yeah, can you come and take it? Yeah, surely. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I could kill him, huh? No, <laughs> don't piss off the admin. We're in a twig base. That'd be kind of funny, though. <laughs> hello, Jake. Welcome to our home. I think we just got aired by the admin? I think we got aired by the admin. Yeah, he's just got server- wait, he got kicked, he didn't even get banned. Can we go down there? Yes. We should go down and check, check it out. You're right. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, oh shit. Don't, don't come out here. Okay. Alright, I might- oh, yeah, I can see him. Killed him, I think. No, he's low, he's really low. I shot him through the gate. Go for it. Run at him. He's dead. Another one, another one, one more, one more, one more. Watch out! Shit, shit, shit! Can you fucking stop? <laughs> what the hell were you doing? You ran back and forth into me over and over again. <laughs> it's the guys from the base. Oh no, they know where I- That's the guys that we just took the airdrop from. What? Yeah. They fucking followed us. That's why the admin was like, I don't want you to get killed. This isn't good. They don't know. They don't know it's Twig. They, they don't, don't know, know it's Twig. <laughs> they shouldn't know it's Twig in here. Despite having been exposed worse than a Minecraft YouTuber's dating preferences, we had just been given an ideal opportunity to get some cheater loot. All we had to do was cook up some explosive ammunition as we didn't have a rocket launcher, and then it would be time to go. Okay, I'm ready. Did the admins delete the cheater loot? Surely not, bro. He indeed did. Is it all gone? Oh no, 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 loot. Airdrop, two launchers, no Wait, chance. no, where that's are you? That's all that's left. That's, that's, Is that all the loot that's left? HQ. <laughs> that's exactly what we needed. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I found the loot. Yeah? Come up here, and then you come down here, and what look, the there he is. He's logged off right there, and there's a locker and two boxes. Oh, mate. All right, you go up. I'll, I'll look through this. It's here. Oh. Oh, yeah. <gasps> yes. yes. Yes, brother. Yes. Oh. 
He didn't delete it. Two Bolsies in here too. There's probably more. Bro, there's so much, so much stuff. We were so lucky that this raid gave us these rocket launchers, especially since the last cave that I blandly entered into, the only loot I got was a case of chlamydia. Since we can now raid with rockets, JT went to farm sulfur, although he was killed by our newfound enemies turned stalkers, Greasy Peach and Odoban. A firefight not too dissimilar to lunchtime at an American high school ensued, but soon a cluster of five airdrops being caught out into the middle of the ocean caught our eye. We'll check out the fucking airdrops, and if not, we'll hop on cargo. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Hurry, 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 hurry! I'm running very fast. Five airdrops, Jesus. Just keep your eyes out. I don't see no boat yet. Me neither. I see a boat. There it is, yeah. He's up. He's on the surface. Watch out, body dead. Nice. Okay, I'm so low. Get in. Oh my god. Two C4. Is he stacked? Yeah, look at it. Oh, 300 scrap as well. We go get on cargo. Yeah. Huddy, 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 huddy. Oh, no, no, no. Guy, guy, guy. What about? Uh, uh, front, front, front. He's going to be getting on from the front. Okay, he's he's. I think he's going for the jump. He's going to be jumping right where you were. Two, 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 two. Headshot one. Nice. Two jump, two jump. Uh, one got on. Both on, one's hit. Where are you? Uh, left side corridor. Not left side. Right side. I'm dead. Killed one? Nice. You said there were two, right? Yeah, yeah, there's one more. Got them both? Oh, huge, bro. Brother, what is what is going on? What? This is the most sad cargo enter I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Come on, give me a Can I go get that again? <laughs> it's not my fault, man. Yeah, it is. You gotta go straight. Look, look, look. So the boat's coming a little bit to the left. So we're gonna wait, <laughs> yeah. wait, wait. I'm being can, babied can you get a cargo ship take. So you wanna go straight a bit? Nice. Well done. All right, come here. Look at this. I got one AK, one, two, three, four, five SARS, two Tommies, one HLMG, two prototypes, and a hidden minigun. Bloody hell. Right, let's go get that backpack that you tossed off the ship then. Honestly, this run is fucking huge because not only did it give us fucking a ton of guns, we got boom. We got boom. We got lovely C4. I mean, that's three C4. Yep, should be. And this time I won't throw one on a body. I think I might see it. Left, 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 left. There it is. I see it. Oh, that's it. No, it's there. Is it? Yep. Yeah. You don't understand how loaded I am right now. Wait, look at the front of the boat. All right. Let me... I'll, I'll, get, I'll give you a little peek, a little sneak peek of how loaded I am. Holy shit, brother. Oh my days. <laughs> that's that's what I just got. That's cooked. That's fried. Did you just steal my meds when I put them in the box? Do you want them back? Yeah, I want my fucking meds back. What kind of stu- what? I'm got... showing my inventory and you just start taking my meds? Well, you know, I got bandages and I kind of thought, you know, a little bit of sharing, a little bit of caring. It, I didn't have that many. Oh, look, you put them in the box. I thought, damn, this guy's loaded. He must have them all already. I seen something go away, but I thought maybe you just grabbed the gun. And then I <laughs> noticed I have no meds. That was the fucking stingiest shit I've ever seen in my life. Taking the cargo ship had given us some insane resources. I guess I can see where the Somali pirates are coming from. We now had most of the boom we'd need to start working down our list of targets, including our stalking duo at S8, the sulfur quarry base, and also this base on the hill right beside us. Although things were about to get a lot more urgent. Because they're the, they're the only group that know where we live. With the amount of people that we've been like fragging on, you know? Oh, oh shit. shit. Not cash money. Not cash money. I mean, our base is still in there. I think they might have died. Hey, let me get a name check here. It's them. Holy dude. They Bro. Fucking, they're scoping out our base. This is not good. That we cannot be away for this base dude, for long. The, the, fucking, the shit worked though. It worked. That shit was low. So it has been there for a bit. They must have done that just as we left. We are so lucky. You have no idea. If this thing wasn't rugged up, we are dead instantly. I think it's safe to say it's definitely time for some more security upgrades. The twig base is fully done. We come in here, we come in here, we get the sensors. So this will notify us if anybody breaches our compound at all. We have them wrapped around the entire thing. So if anybody jumps in here, we're getting notified and we uh, we F1 <laughs> kill in game <laughs> and we spawn over here. Then we got 
the not twig base, twig base. With the turrets on top. You can't tell, can't see anything. And if people try to peek over to take a peek, they should get blasted instantly. As you guys seen earlier, I think that is exactly what happened. And then we come into Casa El Twigge. I mean, this is just beautiful. Just, we are stacking cheese right now. You know one thing I've thought of though? So our house is made of twigs. Yeah. But if you look around, we have a lot of fire going on. Yeah, guys, don't worry. I will never play with this guy again. Don't worry. <laughs> Whilst I was setting up more surveillance equipment than the CIA did in Iraq, JT had turned her sulfur into rockets. It was now time to take out our first problem on the list. Right, here's the boom we've got. You got 15 rockets, 3C4, stack and a half of Explo. It's not a lot of fucking boom, but fuck it. All right, here's what we're doing. I'm flying us in, gonna try not to crash. We're gonna land at Sulfur Quarry. We're gonna hope the base owner thinks we're just running Sulfur Quarry. So stacked. This is, this is sketchy. All right, here we go. Watch out, watch your right, watch your right. Yep, yeah, there it is. All right, where do you want to splash? We'll splash here. On the side? Yeah, right here. Uh, I could do it. I'll do it. I'll do this. Just watch up there. It's open. Reloading. Dead. Nice. TC. I can explode TC. Holy f He's so fing loaded on metal frags. Oh. Oh, I got 3k GP. How many rockets do you have? Um, I got one left, man. But we got C4. C4 rocket. A C4 guy sure? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Oh, whoa, he had all the sulfur. No way, really? Not not like a crazy amount, but a good amount. Holy moly, metal frags. Now, this wasn't quite what we were expecting. Taking home a total of 60 explosives and 3,000 gunpowder, we definitely didn't profit. But there were so many other resources there that if we were living in a base that could actually be upgraded, it would have been worth it. With this enemy off the map, we could breathe a slight sigh of relief. Or so we thought. We got TC grief. Are you being serious? Swear to God. Wait, what? They'll be able to build right in our base. Holy moly. Um... Dude, that's actually, like, very f***ing bad. Okay, so they didn't, uh -huh. they didn't jump in because we didn't get the alarm. But I don't even know if that's them. Who, who does that? Why, why is it Adobe? Maybe that's why it's Adobe. So we don't know who it is. That's so funny, though. They're doing all this stuff where if they just took one look, one flyover, all would be revealed. I was certain that this was the S8 duo of stalkers that had done this to us, but JT wasn't very convinced. So we went to go and see if we could change his mind. Why Adobe? That's the only thing that's f***ing with my head. I think it's purely just to throw us off. I don't think anybody's that smart. I would have done it, maybe. Oh, no, you wouldn't have. Oh my God, they have our f***ing heads on the wall. Wait, what? They straight up have our f heads on their wall no way let me take a look at this shit hog rider 97 one head cousin lover 49 two heads holy moly that's us no shit i guess it's pretty obvious now that these two were the ones messing with us if we wanted them gone however we needed more boom and fast we had a collection of airdrops that we had accumulated so whilst jt was running the sulfur quarry he dropped me at the large oil rig to call them in Oh, mini coming in. Mini coming in. Okay, okay. He's going. He's going ball. He's going ball. Oh, yeah, I see him. Hit one. Hit twice. He dropped him. The sun's in the way. Just can't get an angle on him. Close. Mini's, mini's in. Oh, I'm dead to fucking ball. I completely forgot about him. I'm such a fucking Jeez. retard. Headshot him. Killed him, killed one. This ball left. Oh, you're chilling, man. He can't really get down unless he's like a G. He jumped, he jumped, comps, comps, he's died, he died. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it, Giza? I'm sorry, mate. One, two, two. C4? Oh my god. C4 LR. C4? <laughs> two for two. Oh. <laughs> Did you find the other one? Yeah, I found it. Oh my god. There's no way. Brother, all right? I think that was a very successful airdrop, Colin. Yeah, holy shit. Coming in. Oh. 
Wait, he said, cousin, make a ticket on Discord, please. The admin just messaged. Why? I don't know, he just said make a ticket. Oh, he's, it's about the lag. He says, the lag you have is pretty crazy and causing quite an unfair advantage to other players. Say you're from New Zealand. He said, there's people with ping higher than you and aren't having the rubber banding you're doing. I said, bro, I'm from New Zealand and I play on university Wi-Fi. Whilst this was a very good run, especially with the amount of C4 from the airdrops, I now had the admin of the server breathing down my neck. Aside from this very respectable gentleman threatening the ban hammer if I didn't get off soon, we had now gathered all the explosives we'd need to get rid of the troublesome duo. 27 rockets in total, few HEs, bunch of explo, and one angry angry admin. We are fighting the clock because Scotty might get banned any minute. We gotta go, 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 go. I'm about to get banned. The admin is in my DMs. I turned on and chat. And you guys want to see why Scotty's going to get banned? Wait, well, well, that's why he's getting banned. I'm getting banned <laughs> because my Wi-Fi is too bad. Uh, where the hell do I park? Oh, um, I guess I don't. That works. All right. Oh, sulfur, sulfur, all their sulfur. All their sulfur? Yeah. Ooh, yummy, 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 yummy. All right, well, let's blast those garage doors, yeah? Yeah. All right. What are you seeing? Oh, wait, loot room, is it? Oh shit, I'm fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did you? It's fine. They're fucking loaded. Like, they are so loaded. Not too much boom. They had one C4. That was more than enough to raid us, though, so. Yeah, true. <laughs> okay, let's go hit this last. Uh... Oh, 1.3k. Hold on, I'm just gonna fly this out so we can get into the Got bunker. It. Bro, literally, that oil rig airdrop's coming in clutch right there. I know. If we didn't get those, we wouldn't have had enough. Right, I'm gonna come in and land. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh. So all their sulfur. That's nice. Pretty fucking good, dude. We got their fucking sulfur. Won't say no to some sulfur. Guy out here. Oh yeah, kid. Guy out here. Guy out here. There? Guy out here. With a uh, hazmat. Oh, turret. Turret. I see it. Dead. One bullet killed him. No, I fired like eight. Oh. Yeah, you, you do have an advantage with like <laughs> you know let's hold that twitter rant for another day <laughs> dude i literally only heard you shoot one bullet all right um you know what jump outside i'll meet you outside no brother i was just about to hop in oh well i was stuck dude, on that cross thing jump, cross jump cross jump cross jump onto this laggy thing go 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 <laughs> yay all right let's go feels kind of weird being the richest like there's no way we're not the richest group on the server. We must be not. I mean, we live in a fucking twig. Four base. swipe was yesterday, and look at what we were stacking, you know? Eliminating these guys was a huge win, but just as we were finally starting to feel like we would be able to survive the night, JT spotted something hovering above our base, and it came from the direction of our neighbors. 18, 21, 24, 25 rockets so far. Um, I'm not gonna lie. The drone is them flying around, and they're flying it right to our base right now. Are you serious? Word to God. Bro, our neighbors are droning us out. That's insane. Dude, oh my God. We get rid of one neighbor that's with us, and now we get another. Although they did live in very close proximity to our twig temple, these guys were pretty much complete noobs. I mean, you know it's bad when even I managed to get in a few kills. Luckily, whilst messing with this slot, another target revealed itself. Headshot. Body shot. I don't know if these guys are a threat to us. I don't know if they, they seem a bit silly. Oh, jeez. Headshot up again. Oh, oh, I just got DB'd. <laughs> oh, my. It's the guys from large. What's their name? Tilted Tusi and Spoon Kid. It's the guys from large. It turned out that this fellow, the same one as from the oil rig, was the one scouting us out with the drone. And even better, we'd found where they lived. Maybe this base down here. Yeah, they are in here. That turret that shot at you? I have one turret up top. Uh, should we go send a raid? Yeah. We can, we can MLRS them. MLRS them and just send it? Yeah. I'm keen. Oh, we're ready. Alright. Alright, look at them go. Hopefully I hit it. Oh, I heard something explode. We got turrets on the other side of the compound, be careful. You have expo? We didn't crash any. Watch out, guy outside. Kill him. Okay, right. I'm shooting this door. Do not yep. turn that yep. corner. Correct. I'm nice. dead. You're dead? Okay. 
I'll, I'll be there in a second. I'll be there in a second. Just hold it. Okay. Oh no, I'm so stupid. I killed that guy outside as well. Oh, there's an AK. Oh, AK. Are you dead? Nope, I'm low. I can hear him kind of scuttling about inside. I'm dead. I can AK doubled me. That Ubu guy. It's over. It's Jover. Oh, he died to the turret. No way. Killed him. Okay, nice. Yeah, that guy died to turret. I can't get his body. This AK body right there. You need to loot it. Okay. I'm dead. I, I think. Did you die? No, I'm alive. Okay, okay. I killed him. Nice. I killed him. Oh my god, this is scuffed. This is so scuffed, bro. <laughs> did you? Did that guy? Did that AK guy have my shotgun? No. It. I don't know where it went. It might be in my body, like that. I don't know. It no, be. no, it's not. It's not. It's, 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 it's. Killed a hazmat guy outside. Don't fucking die, Scotty. I don't like. I'm literally two seconds away. Okay, I'm not faking. I'm back. Nice. Turret fucking saved our life. I know. Uh, I got here. Take laundry. You know what you're doing. Yeah, I've killed myself twice, but I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. Guy outside. He's naked. Hit him. He's dead. Killed him. Nice. Uh, no, no, no one else down there. Okay. Uh, give me two seconds. All right, I hold upstairs or downstairs. Down, downstairs. You gotta watch that. My body has all the rockets. Okay, nice. I'm watching it. Coming in. Opened. No. He's dead. Nice. These guys aren't good. I'm just playing like a fucking monkey because I'm on zero sleep. <laughs> How's it looking? The garage door here. I got two rockets on me if you need them. Oh, dude, I got a suicide launcher again. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hurry, dude. Oh my God. I have a, so much adrenaline going through me right now. Ooh. And I'm so tired. I'm like shaking. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't tell me about it, bro. Okay, it'll be open. All right, I'm going to get out this launcher. I'm going to jump down. Go in. Yeah. Two batteries, nothing else. Garage door. Okay, get up top. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to shoot this rocket and you're going to, you got to get ready if you need to shoot it right after me. Locked up. This is it. Yeah, Spoonkin. This is this is the one, bro. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. How many rockets do you have? Uh, one, bro. Oh no, we don't have enough. Are we one short. Yeah. Oh my God, they have a line of rockets. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. No way. Wait, let me see this loot, bro. Oh my God, those rockets. Do you have a backpack on? Yeah, I got it. Right, it's in this back box. I'm grabbing it. Thousand scrap as well. Bunch of components. We'd done it. We'd raided this final enemy and somehow got a bunch of rockets back as well. Although it wouldn't be a fitting tale if there wasn't one more problem. And it was this guy who kept trying to counter us called Uwu. He was now considered enemy number one. Kind of like Dr. Disrespect, although I guess it's your call on if texting minors is the worst crime than countering an online raid. The only issue with this Uwu guy is that we believed he lived in a cave base, which would be way too expensive to raid. So, embracing his inner diplomat, JT ran off to arrange a meeting with this feared enemy to see if we could talk things out. What have you been saying to him? Is he chill? He's just a drunk ass Australian guy. <laughs> Hello. No, I turned him off. How oh, are we, Shagger? Now, do you want to do you want to know uh, the secret? Do you know the secret from just looking at the base? No, I got no idea. It's Take fully a made out of a twig. It's nothing but sticks, mate. <laughs> Go on. Take a look inside. Come on. Follow me. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's I've been crazy. living in the base this whole time. <laughs> no, we've pissed off everyone and no one has come gosh. to raid us. Bro, I was thinking like there was a weird sulfur node or something going on. <laughs> a weird no. sulfur node? This is why we didn't, well, this is um, why we didn't need no materials. How the hell was this guy low-key, like, putting up a fight? I don't know, man. Maybe we're just tired. And now, with the realization that this newest and strongest enemy was just an intoxicated, bubbly Australian, we could confidently say that we had taken every measure to ensure that our twig base survived the night. We just had to set up one last thing. This twig base has done it all. And as you can see, nighttime. Finally, we're going to be leaving it for the night and seeing if it can survive the ultimate challenge. But just in case it doesn't, we have left a little present here that you can see JT's asleep on top of. What does it say? If you're listening to this, congratulations! You have now won a twig base that is loaded! The base has been upgraded and I still have access to this door. But I take it, yeah, all the loot's gone, the turrets are gone, solar panels, 
And yeah, they came in through the compound. All right, surprise, surprise. All that was left behind, a few tools and a few boxes of stone. Ah, oh, well, that was a good wipe, wasn't it? The Tugways did not fully manage to survive the night. It was close, it was close. This is only a few hours ago, which is quite annoying. We probably could have done it, especially if we didn't go around pissing everyone off. But hey, it went well. Of course, go check out Jay Tellers. You guys know who he is. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one.